We in some sense live in a golden age in which there's been a remarkable flow of data which can be used to measure cities. So with Mike Luca, we've been using Yelp data to measure neighborhood change. We often have very good official uh, statistics. We actually know what's happening in the local businesses from county business patterns that pretty, pretty good way. We know what's happening in terms of neighborhood demographics from the census, but we often know them with very considerable lags. For example, if you wanted to know what was happening at a really micro neighborhood level in Atlanta, where we are right now, you'd be forced to be looking at data really from 2013. Now, the beauty of data like Yelp, and there are lots of other sources, is that it's really up to the minute. You actually can measure what's happening as of yesterday because all the data is online. The first thing that we did was we tried to just use the Yelp businesses that are rated and ask, can we tell which areas are doing well in terms of new business creation, which ones are doing poorly? The answer is you can, uh, not as perfectly as you can with county business patterns, but you can, you can know it up front. The ability of the data to mimic the official statistics is a lot better in dense areas, in well-educated areas, in high-income areas, in areas in short in which people write about their experiences on Yelp. But you can go for further, you can use the openings of different types of businesses to actually measure neighborhood change, to measure gentrification. So we could train this using the 2008 to 2014 period where we have both the census data and the Yelp data and then use it to project out for what happens from 2014 to today. And what we found is that once again, the Yelp data does a pretty good job, but not a perfect job of predicting neighborhood change, particularly for percent college educated. The number of laundromats is a good predictor of gentrification. Now why? It reminds us that there's something special about Yelp. It's not just about who's using the, the services, it's about who's writing them online, about them online. After you've spent two hours there watching your clothes go round and round and round in a circle, to think, boy, what I really need to do is to write about this experience online and share it with millions of readers, that is something that you require a fair amount of education to get, get right. These types of, of variables really can give us an, a granular idea at a very fine spatial level and at a very up-to-date temporal level of what's happening in cities. And it's a sign of where, the, where we're going in terms of our ability to measure what's happening in the urban areas that are all around us.